action! Eric Roberts is just one of the stars featured in Fred Carpenter's new independent film, The Night Never Sleeps, soon to make its Long Island debut at the Long Island International Film Expo in Belmore. Check out this exclusive behind-the-scenes special report on the making of the film. The name of the film is The Night Never Sleeps. I play uh, Sergeant Tommy Cavanaugh, and basically I run a strike force, and there's this bad guy by the name of Argus, and he has this horrible drug gang, and he has this horrible hitman by the name of Iceman, and they are killing a lot of the people on my strike force team. My character can't handle the fact that all of his fellow police officers are getting killed. So he takes the law into his own hands. And the scene we're shooting today basically is me coming into a drug house and just blasting everybody away. And that is the most amazing feeling in the world. I mean, um, this of course, this of course is not a real gun, but um, there's nothing cooler than um, you know, coming to a movie set and having a gun and having a badge. It's the greatest feeling in the world. And to get to shoot bad guys. Um, uh, actually, I'm shooting bad guys, but they're great actors. I'm still in shock. It's mind-boggling. Uh, less than a year ago, these were words on a piece of paper, and now they're filming it. Uh, it was originally set on Long Island in Hempstead, uh, Huntington. Um, it was about gangs. There was a lot of gang violence going on. I live in Huntington. There's a lot of gang violence there. And as a police officer, I just thought I would try to get more to the meat of what, what it was, was really happening as opposed to what the media says is happening and what the movies say is happening. So I wanted to get back to some reality and also use that as an excuse to uh, get back to uh, films that I enjoyed like The 7-Ups and The French Connection and To Live and Die in L.A., uh, all those great, great films from the 70s. I, I love those pictures. Kavanaugh is basically uh, a good cop, a good man. Uh, going through you know rough time in his personal life, which which is just backstory. One of the one of his men is killed during a uh, robbery, and it's and it's Kavanaugh and his crew going out trying to find the killers. The film takes place in one night. It takes place from when the sun goes down to when the sun comes up in the morning. It's in a tradition of uh, like a da the down and dirty gritty uh, like narc. Uh, cop movies. It all takes place one night. A lot of thumping, ass butt kicking, frenetic energy. It's 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 a great it's a great film. There's a lot of a lot of really good things. I think people are going to be blown away with it. You know, I really do. I'm real happy with this movie. Of all the films that I've done, this is the best group of people I've been involved with to make in a film. So I think it's going to be the best film ever. Filmmaking on Long Island is growing more and more. And what we finally decided to do is take a lot of the best. Long Island filmmakers under Fred Carpenter's leadership and try and do the best movie we can make. This is really the dream team of Long Island filmmaking. Uh, I'm a filmmaker on Long Island. I do stuff with my family. Um, Russ Kamard is a filmmaker on Long Island. Uh, Sean King is a filmmaker on Long Island. And Fred Carpenter is. And all of us came together to make this movie under Fred's leadership. And Fred is so easy to work with. And he has such a great, strong visual style. And he's amazing. I mean, he gets these fantastic locations. He gets all these movie stars. Uh, he gets the money to put this together. And uh, we couldn't be happier working with him. And Eric Roberts says it was great to be involved with this film project. I don't play dangerous people, so it scares me, ah. right? <laughs> he's kidding. Oh, it's fun. It's just fun. It's like it's like being cowboys and Indians when you're grown up. Well, you know, my wife, about two to four times a year, she sends me on what she calls my give back projects, where uh, we, we, we find people who are making movies for all the right reasons, and we go help them make them. Eric Roberts is a legend. I mean, the guy has been in hundreds of movies, and he came onto our set, and the first thing he did was put everybody at ease. And, and he's a real professional, you know. Uh, doing a scene with him is really fantastic because he's so in the moment that when you're playing off him, he helps the performance so dramatically. And he's such a great, funny guy. We're really lucky. It's terrific to have a, an actor of Eric Roberts' caliber on the, on the piece. He's a real pro. He's coming from project to project. He came here from Los Angeles, jumped right into the set, and was right in character and ready to go. He was fantastic to work with, real nice guy. Eric is playing a pimp and a drug dealer and a low life, <laughs> for the most part. Uh, it's basically Kavanaugh is running, is walking through hell as he's trying to uh, find uh, the, the killer of uh, two people on his squad by the end of the film. And uh, one of those low lifes is uh, Eric Roberts, and he's going to do a great job. Uh, I've always I've been a big fan since uh, 
the Pope of Greenwich Village. So to me, it's great just working with him. He's just a, a real gentleman and, and a nice person, and, and his wife is uh, lovely also. She's also in the film. She's playing the, uh, uh, the main character's wife in the film, Kavanaugh's wife, Mrs. Kavanaugh. Uh, she's a very famous actress. She's been in a lot of movies, movies like Animal House. I mean, she's been around forever. Fantastic professional. She was doing the scenes with her. That was really some of the most fun of the stuff we did. I am Kavanaugh's wife, uh, soon to be, perhaps soon to be ex-wife. <laughs> we have kids, and we still have sort of a warm spot for each other, but we're really mad at each other right now. I can't stand the danger of his job and always worrying about him, so now I'm hooking up with a dentist. And he's pissed. <laughs> and I'm pissed. And it's just the general no marriage can commu can survive communication, right? First of all, hilarious. And what's so great is he can flip to the drama and then find the comedy in the drama. And that was really, really cool. I loved working with him, and I want to do it again for sure. Actor Robert Clohesse was also involved with the film. He says what drew him to the project was the strength of the script. Yeah, I think uh, he, I think he's done a great job. I mean, this is his first script being done. A really terrific job bringing a, a real kind of cop experience, cop, um, what do you say, uh, milieu, uh, life. And he has its, you know, one real story that really just drives the whole thing. It really drives are uh, really action-packed throughout the whole movie. So, we'll see what happens. Rounding out the star cast was actor Armand Asante, who played the internal affairs inspector in the film. Writing. I, I use writing as a barometer of whether or not I could uh, uh, hopefully embody something. <laughs> but I like the writing. Uh, the gentleman who wrote it is a uh, career police person, and... Uh, he, he writes uh, material that's uh, from his own experience. And I think he really has a, has a certain uh, facility for the language of that genre, you know. And I use writing as a barometer for what I, I try to work on. I'm not always correct, but I try. Asante's playing Carmine Romanelli, Carmine, Inspector Carmine Romanelli. He's an inspector in internal affairs in the boroughs probably the borough of Queens. Uh, an inspector in internal affairs has got a lot of juice. The rest of the cops believe him to be the prince of darkness, that type of juice. They're all afraid of him. Cops go after bad guys. Asante goes after, or Romanelli goes after bad cops. So everyone's afraid of him. Uh, he tips off Kavanaugh uh, that there may be an investigation on somebody in Kavanaugh's squad. This is something that uh, Romanelli's character would never do. Romanelli would never do such a thing, but because he does have a history with Kavanaugh, he uh, does go beyond and does tip him off that he's on, his people are under investigation. Uh, that, that's basically the role that uh, Romanelli's playing. Uh, the, ca the, the, the character Romanelli is what we call a true believer, believes into the believes police department, he owes his allegiance to the police department, but he still has ties to the cops on the street, because he was a street cop. And that's why he's uh, tipping off Kavanaugh. That's the connection there. Working with Armando Sante is, is a dream come true, because I'm not only um, an actor in the movie with him, I'm a fan. So you're hoping that this guy you're a huge fan of is, is going to be nice and easy to work with. And he's better than nice. He's incredibly generous. He's constantly giving you tips. He's giving you all these different ideas on how to approach the scene. He insists on a lot of rehearsal. He had me come to his hotel room the night before. We rehearsed for three hours. And he was teaching me everything about what to do with your eyes, how to play the emotion. And that is, you can't get more generous than that. It's so remarkable. We had this scene we shot today in the cemetery, and it's a very, very emotional scene for me. I'm, I'm very upset, and he was not going to let me finish the scene until I nailed it. He would repeat lines over and over again just to get the right response. And then once he got it, he looked at me and goes, okay, that was good. Now we got something. And that's like the greatest thrill, because not only to work with him, but then for him to say, hey, you know, you did a good job.
I mean, that's what it's all about. But so many of us are fans of, of movie stars, and then you get to work with a movie star in a movie, and not only work with them, but when you're acting with them in a scene, it's the best seat in the house. I mean, it's the ultimate close-up. You're right there. You're in the movie with him. It, it's better than 3D. It's, it's the most incredible experience an actor can have. Relatively new to acting, actress Stephanie Finocchio portrayed a rookie cop partnered with the main character, Cedric Kavanaugh. It's amazing. They're all giving me pointers. It's awesome. They're all helping me out. I'm loving it. It's, it's a great opportunity to be on a movie with all this talent. I would love this to keep going. I mean, again, like my field was stunt work. Obviously, I've done some acting within that, and the wrestling is all acting. And I've had parts here and there, but this is it's getting bigger and better, and uh, I hope to keep going with it. I, I would love to kind of do both or convert over to it. I mean, stunts is my definitely my first love. I love hitting the ground, setting myself on fire, jumping out of buildings, but hopefully we'll be able to do like action roles and, and I could do my own stunts and incorporate it all and just keep working and moving on to the next film. And she's an extraordinary actress. She's fantastic to work with because she's tough. She's real tough. I mean, not only is she a great actress, she's a stunt woman. There's really nothing she can't do. And she's also extremely genuine. You know, she, she plays herself. But it's really hard to play yourself and do it well. She plays my partner in the movie. And we have a lot of really, you know, cool scenes together. I, I, I think we click in terms of, like, chemistry, because we probably both have the same, you know, sense of humor. But what's remarkable about her is how good she is with drama and how she can find a moment in the scene. And you're looking at her, and you take it all off her face. And when you work with her, she just makes you a better actor. I, I'm really lucky to work with her. I think she's fantastic. One of the main villains in the film is portrayed by actor Russ Camarda. I've worked with Russ many times before. This time we play adversaries. Um, you know, I'm the good guy cop. He's the bad guy ice man. He's a thoroughly ruthless killer. And um, Russ gets into the part so well that a couple of times I want to like break up on camera because he's just, he so disappears into the part. It's actually really, really creepy. I think it's the best performance he's ever done. Iceman, yes. Well, well, this is a real trip for me, a real treat because I get to play a complete psychopath and I very rarely get to do that. So, uh, you know, there's a gang of bad guys in the movie and they're all kind of in it for the drugs and the money and whatnot. And my guy, the more I read into it, the more I realized he was just in it to kill people. So for me to play that was a blast and I, I thank Fred for giving me the opportunity to do that. The way I looked at the character, he seemed like a, um, like a wild dog, like a, like a feral animal. So I wanted to have kind of different colored hair, some white, some black, change one color eye, move more canine. So everything I do is sort of this wolf and feral kind of thing. And that was what I'm building off of as a character. And, and it's just a generally creepy looking guy and some neck tattoos. And because by this time in my life, I'm not a 25 year old gangbanger. By this time in my life, this character probably would have been in and out of prison. So he would have some tattoos. He would have some markings. Um, and he's a complete psychopath. I mean, he, the rest of his gang, I think, is interested in the money and interested in the drugs and all that stuff. And I'm just sort of this wild animal they let out who's really just interested in chaos. He's more happy to just hurt people and, and, and chew on the things in front of him. Uh, you know, uh, just a complete sociopath. And that's really fun to play. Uh, Russ is, is, um, works behind the camera and in front of the camera. He does an excellent job. He does, he's just, he's just excellent. Uh, both Dan and uh, Russ are good friends and they're just wonderful in the film. Um, they, they're true professionals. They really work hard at their craft. And hopefully, I, I think that this, this is gonna be a breakout role for both of them. Victor Vargas is basically a uh, street entrepreneur, um, serial killer, and all-around bad guy for hire. And uh, so basically all I did was watch the, uh, the news. <laughs> and that pretty much helped me to prepare for what's going on, you know, get in touch with my evil side. But uh, hopefully, you know, I can pull that off on screen very well with, 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 with a great cast, of course. And cast and crew say they're confident audiences will enjoy watching the film as much as they enjoyed making it. I think it's going to be when it's finished, if we do it right, it's going to be one of those gritty films that we used to love in the 70s, you know, those real cop films. Uh, Mike Lavaglio wrote a great script, and uh, in the end it's all going to come out nice. I, I think people will be pleased with the result. The Night Never Sleeps, which has been shooting all over Long Island, is close to wrapping up, which means you'll get to see it in a theater near you this summer. Chris Kalora reporting.